Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the practice of normalizing asking people for their pronouns, and how I'm not always comfortable with the way people do this, and with some of the practices that people have been advocating. So some background here. There's been a move recently to normalize the practice of specifying your preferred pronouns, and asking other people their pronouns. So some people will be like, oh, I prefer she, her, or I prefer he, him, or I prefer they, them. So for me, I prefer they, them pronouns. And sometimes I like when people ask my pronouns, but unfortunately, people sometimes do it in a way that can make me really uncomfortable. And probably the worst thing that people do is when I'm in an unfamiliar setting, and there's a bunch of people around that I either don't know or don't know very well, and I don't know much about how these people feel about trans people or about non-binary people, and someone comes up to me and in front of other people they ask me loudly, what pronouns do you prefer? Or what are your pronouns? This puts me in a really difficult position. I don't always want to be fully out about my gender identity. It's like, yes, I have this YouTube channel, and I'm like, hi, I'm non-binary. But when I'm out and about in the world, I don't necessarily want to go around advertising, hey, I'm non-binary. I do sometimes, in some settings, where I feel safe and comfortable doing so, but it's not a universal thing. There's some settings where I'm not comfortable doing that, and I may default to he, him pronouns, just because it's easier, it's like I can put on men's clothes, I can speak with a deep voice, I can be like, hey, you know? Like, I can kind of fall back on that. It's not what I prefer, but the point is that I do that sometimes, and I think this is common for non-binary people. If you ask someone, what are your pronouns, or what pronouns do you prefer, it sometimes might put the person on the spot. Because they then have to, in the moment, think, do I want to tell this person they, them, which is what I prefer, and effectively out myself as non-binary? Like, do I want that? Or do I want to lie and say something that fits more what I look like in the moment, which might be male, it might be female, you know, it depends on the person, it depends on the day sometimes even. Um, and, and if you're in the moment and you're, you're thinking about this, you might stumble over the question, and you might feel visibly uncomfortable, and the act of doing that may out you, in a sense. And so, it, there's something kind of non-consensual about it, and I think the key issue here is that it's being done in front of other people that you don't know, in a setting that you don't necessarily know. And th this is just not good. Like, to me, when I think of the, the relative weight of outing someone as trans, as non-binary, without their consent, versus referring to them by the wrong pronouns, it seems way worse to out someone without their consent. Like, most trans people who, who have issues with people not calling them by their preferred pronouns are pretty used to it, for better or worse. Like, a lot of people deal with it on a, an everyday basis, and it's something that we're used to dealing with. We have our own mechanisms for coping with it. I certainly do. Uh, I don't know. So, I see this practice in a lot of liberal circles of saying like, oh, like, let's all advertise our pronouns, and let's ask everyone their pronouns, and I'm like, okay, I think we need to put a damper on this. I'm not saying that it's always bad to ask people their pronouns, but I think it is very important to be mindful of how and when you do it. Uh, one thing I really don't like, I've been seeing colleges and universities increasingly normalizing the practice of asking people their pronouns in a big group setting in front of a lot of people, like professors doing it in class, uh, orientation activities doing it in a group of people, and like, these settings are not necessarily safe. I have had people go into awful and even violent transphobic rants. College students on a college campus. Thankfully it is not common, 
but it happens even in liberal areas, in liberal settings. And like universities, they're a little bit of a bubble, but they're not completely a bubble. There's going to be people there who harbor transphobic views. And I think it's important to give trans and non-binary people the control that they want over how and when to come out to people. And this sort of group announcement of your preferred pronouns, it, it, it doesn't always work for all people, and it can put people in a really difficult position. I personally think that the best practice is to ask people for their pronouns individually and in private. And if the person wants to advertise their pronouns, like by writing them on a name tag, that's great. If they want to wear a pin on their backpack, on their bag, that's great. I even do this some of the time. But I don't necessarily do it in all settings, and I don't want to do it in all settings, and I don't want to be forcibly outed by someone I barely even know in front of people that I don't know at all, who I might not feel comfortable or safe with. So, this is what I have to say. Uh, I really want us to sort of question this. I, I feel like this is one of those issues where a lot of colleges especially are like jumping on the liberal ba bandwagon. It's like, yay, this is this new great thing to do, and they're, they're not really thinking, and they're not really getting all the feedback from trans and non-binary people about how it affects them. So I'm telling you all, this is how it affects me. I don't like it. I would rather that you all be a little bit more toned down, a little more mindful of people being outed in how you ask pronouns. I'd rather it be done in private, a little bit more quietly, uh, and allow people to control over who they're open to and how. Yeah, that's what I have to say. I hope you've gained some insight from this. Thank you!